Our world is plagued with problems of epic proportions. Disease, bankruptcy, company underperformance, failed marriages, not the least of which is the obesity epidemic. 63% of adults in the U.S. are overweight and 25% are clinically obese. Many other countries are catching up fast. It seems that everyone is on a diet, but unfortunately, those who lose weight and keep it off are the rare exception and not the rule. In fact, an estimated 95% of diets fail. When the latest torturesome diet fails, what can be done? Meet Brian Wansink, a social scientist we interviewed while researching for our book, Influencer, The Power to Change Anything. Dr. Wansink is professor at Cornell University and has published many of his fascinating studies in his book, Mindless Eating, Why We Eat More Than We Think. While most diet books talk about what you should eat, they don't tell you how to get yourself to change your eating behavior. Oh, that's good eating. Oh, yeah. That's what Wansink ah. has done better than anyone else. It turns out we can lose unwanted pounds in a way that feels, well, mindless. We've largely been brought up to believe that willpower is the solution to everything. If only we had willpower, we we wouldn't have finished that ice cream. If only we had willpower, we would be snacking throughout the night. In reality, the more important thing for us ends up being to restructure our environment, to re-engineer just the things around us so we don't have to rely on willpower. If we sat here the entire day with unwrapped chocolate in front of us, there's no question that for most of it, it's going to be gone. It's just a matter of whether it's gone in the two hours or in two minutes. That chocolate is six feet away. We find people are half as likely to eat it. If that chocolate is not even in the house, guess what? I don't want it bad enough to go walk for it. <laughs>